Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So it's been finally confirmed. The next big update for Neverwinter is coming next week, Tuesday, November the 7th. Spelljammer. The devs have created a blog which you can read through. It's just got some details on what's upcoming. Most of which we already know as I've covered in previous videos. A bit of storyline you can read here, but again, confirmation on November the 7th, we'll be launching the Spelljammer update. There will be a new adventure zone, Wild Space, which is filled with multiple different maps, a new trial, Defense of the Moon Dancer, pretty fun, pretty heavy though on the AoE damage required, killing lots of enemies, and then some quality of life improvements. We have the boon system update, the trial queue interface, where you can see that all on the left side there. You can see all 10 players in a trial now, which is awesome. Their debuffs as well. Unfortunately, you can't see their buffs. They had to choose debuffs or buffs just so they could actually fit them there, I guess. But that's great, specifically as a tank. We can now see the threat of everybody against the target, not just our team. Some very good quality of life. Additionally, the Paladin class is getting some updates and also the Barbarian Sentinel. Again, I've covered pretty much all of this in previous videos, covering the details of what they've changed with the Paladin. I might do a more encompassing video of everything later on. Barbarian, I pretty much nailed everything they done in that video. They did go through with adjusting that daily power and the feat with it, giving everybody maximum hit points. And otherwise we can look forward to patch notes closer to the module launch. Again, November the 7th, just one week away. With it, we'll also be able to claim some free items here, a pack with just a stone of health and some scrolls, a coalescent moat if you log in for four days, and a vanity choice pack if you log in for seven days. You have 60 days to claim these items or they disappear. Additionally, a new battle pass will be coming. Ultimately, I'm most excited for the new trial. That'll be some fun, but again, to unlock it, you will have to make progress on the campaign getting to the second week here. So most of you will have to still wait till the following Monday to be able to access the trial, unless I assume you buy a head start pack from the Zen market at a base cost of 1,500. You can discount that to nearly just 1,000 and that should unlock it day one, which I know many of us will do just for the sake of it. You're also supporting the game. It's free to play. And yeah, I'm not that pro unlocking things early like that, especially when the economy hinges on that as well. But there really won't be much selling in this new trial other than perhaps the artifact if they remain having that unbound. Unfortunately, the neck and waist piece are bound to account. The trial will be great for newer players running advanced to get a weapon set, to get okay-ish gear, to got some really high item level, and it'll give them a boost to get into higher level content without, let's say, doing dragon hunts. You'll still want to do them because they still have some of the best gear there. From there, you want to go to like Master Demon Web Pits, ideally for the top gear. There'll be a link in the video description below. You can read through the blog yourself again, but there's not much more to it. Just some story here with regards to the Xaraxian Empire and the Astral Elves and the Moon Dancer being our ship. And yeah, we're basically beating up uh, space pirates. I'm pretty happy with what's coming. It's not drastically different to what we've seen before in terms of the same progress through a campaign, getting your weekly hauls, doing your quests. So far, there's no like hunt system or anything. It's mainly for me going to be all around this new trial. The rest is filler and just again, what gear you're getting from the trial. And I guess companion gear is one thing that we will be going for. That is an upgrade and it won't cost a lot, just 50,000 astral diamonds there. Unfortunately bound to character, but you will just need to play the campaign a bit to buy it. So a special thank you again to all these channel members for their added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.